Hey friends, welcome back. And if you're new here, I welcome you. I have a Bath and Body Works unboxing video that I would love to unbox with you all. I had several boxes delivered yesterday, so I'm really anxious to get these unboxed with you all. I love these type videos. I really hope you guys enjoy this. Um, so let's just get started. I'm gonna start with the largest box definitely the most heaviest seat. And it looks like we have quite a few candles and this actual purchase were, was made prior to New Year's Day. I also have maybe a couple more boxes that were purchases prior to New Year's Day. And um, some of them also include semi-annual sale purchases, which is still currently going on. So yeah, let's start with candles, I guess. And these are all candles that I decided to back up. They have become some of my favorites. The first one is the vanilla, can you see that? Vanilla and peach tea, three wick candle. And here are the scent notes, peach tea, sweet vanilla cream, fresh oat milk. And I really do like this one. It's a nice sweet vanilla peach tea scent. That's the best way I can describe it. And here is the wax there. And this is just really nice. It's nice and light. Um, it's not a heavy Gourmand scented candle, so you don't have to worry about that. I decided to back this one up because of that. It's such a nice, pleasant, refreshing peach tea scented candle. Um, yeah, this is really nice, and I look forward to burning this one um, as the weather warms up. I think it's, this candle is perfect for um, being a year-round one. It's just so nice, light, and sweet, and I just love the scent notes. So I decided to pick up, let's see, I picked up actually six of the vanilla peach teas because I just wasn't sure if this one was coming back. So I'm not going to take them all out the box, so I'll just leave them in the box. But I did pick up six of the vanilla peach teas. Yep, there's another one. This one now the peach tea. So if you like peachy type scents, um, I highly recommend vanilla peach tea. I'm not sure if it's um, available on the site right now because semi-annual sales going on and the, the selection and the availability of candles is kind of really up and down. So you kind of have to just uh, watch out for a restock on that one. And this one is the berry spritzer candle that I decided that I wanted to back up. And I'll take this one out to show you. And you have to check out my review of this candle. I have reviewed this and this one is one of my New Year favorites. <laughs> and this is the berry spritzer. Very beautiful packaging. And the scent notes are frozen juniper berries, fresh cranberries, cool peppermint, black currant. So you do have a lot of scent notes going on. I definitely get the frozen berry note and you do smell the cool peppermint. So it's more like a holiday berry and you also get the tartness of the cranberry. So definitely get a good berry blend there and it's uh, blended well with the cool peppermint. So it's a sweet uh, Light refreshing berry scent. I love that So I decided to pick up two of the berry spritzers as you can see there I also uh, redeemed a free reward and this is the magic in the air fine fragrance mist and I've talked about this in another haul how much I enjoy this scent the lasting power is really great and my skin um, pulls out the almond flower note as well as the vanilla bourbon and I get that sandalwood dry down. It really lasts a long time compared to some of my other fine fragrance mists. This one, I can smell it on me all day. It's really nice. It's sweet. 
and I really just get slightly floral it's really more of a sweet um, I would say like a sweet vanilla sandalwood type scent it's very very nice but that top note you're gonna get that almond note which is really nice as well so if you come across magic in the air which I do believe it's still available uh, for 50% off online I'm not sure why they haven't brought that down to 75% off, but it's definitely a nice one um, to try out. So here is another vanilla peach tea. And this one is another vanilla peach tea. So that's everything for that box. We're going to move on to one of these other boxes here. Okay, so <laughs> I picked up two of the Strawberry Pound Cake Fine Fragrance Mist, and this is in the, um, it's like one of the older packaging. This is not the new packaging, but these were the Strawberry Pound Cake Mist that were going for $4.95. If you can catch them online during our current uh, SAS sale. So, me personally, I have smelled the new version. Well, I'm not going to say new version. I have smelled the repackaging, the newest Bake Shop Collection Strawberry Pound Cake scent. And something's definitely missing from that particular scent or repackage. Um, to me, it doesn't smell identical to this one or the original version that came out something's definitely missing it doesn't really have that gourmand cake smell to me it smells much lighter as if they have altered a scent note in there I'm not sure but that's just my personal opinion um, once I got a chance to smell that I have not picked up the strawberry pound cake um, products in the new bake shop collection I just, I haven't yet because I still have um, a few backups in older packaging. And plus, I just feel like it does to me smell a bit different or a bit off. So, um, I decided to just hold out for that for now. But I'm super, super glad I was able to pick up two of the Strawberry Pound Cake Mists for $4.95 during this in my annual sale. So that's everything for that box. Let's move. So um, these are backups of uh, Fine Fragrance Smiths that I picked up during semi-annual sale. Actually, these were actual free rewards. So I have accumulated quite a few rewards and that I felt like I needed to redeem some of them. So the Thousand Christmas Wishes is a lovely fragrance. Um, it really has grown on me. Um, here are the scent notes. A celebratory blend of pomegranate prosecco, sweet elderberries, star jasmine, and sugared woods. So this is a nice pomegranate berry scent, and it's slightly a woody sweet scent, but it's very bright and holiday-ish. The berries is very holiday smelling, in my opinion. Um, it has beautiful packaging as you can see and I just didn't think that this would be back so I decided to stock up so and they were free so that's even better so I picked up um, three of the a thousand Christmas wishes here And that's everything for that box. So we're going to move on to this box here and just work our way up. Okay, looks 
like we have a couple candles and some body care so this was an order that was placed prior to right before New Year's Day and I picked up two of the coconut mint drop body lotions for $4.95 and here are the scent notes white coconut ice peppermint winter musk and this is such a beautiful coconut holiday mint scent in my opinion so for $4.95 I felt like that was a really good deal so I wanted to stock up on this because um, it's just been a long time since we've um, had coconut mint drop so uh, during semi-annual sale or right before I feel it's the best time to stock up on your favorite scents so I picked up two of those and this is strange that they bubble wrap these. I've never had them come bubble wrapped before. But you guys know I love the party dress three wick candle. This Roaring 20s collection, candle collection, is just beautiful. This scent is really nice. Um, really different from any kind of sweet this is more of a grown and sexy scent to me you have the sparkling bergamot velvet lilies tonka bean so this is a citrus um citrusy floral scent in my opinion and here is the wax there and i just love the actual jar design it's just gorgeous this candle it burns very well i had no issues with performance um the throw is strong for party dress. Um, I definitely like the candle form. I'm not crazy about the body care, but the, in the candle form, I highly recommend party dress. Um, if you like a citrus slash floral, it's not like a summertime floral. This is more of like a wintertime. Um, I don't know what a velvet lily smells like, but it's a it's a deeper, it's like a deep dark floral floral um in my opinion it's grown and sexy so i love this so i decided to back this one up so i picked up three candles in the party dress set here and that's that so i'll leave those in the box so I highly recommend Party Dress um, if you're able to get a hold of it online. I haven't seen any of the Roaring Twenties collection in stores, which is um, a bit strange. I'm like, what happened to all of the stock? But um, if you happen to see it pop online, I highly recommend this one. It smells really, really good. Okay, so this is strange that they decided to <laughs> ship these all in a box by themselves. Um, I decided to pick up the, the Revive Scrub. It's the aromatherapy line. And this is the Brazilian Orange Mandarin Guava. I've heard really great things about this scent. I do love the, um, is it the Hawaiian Sandalwood or... I can't remember the name, but it's the green one. That one, I really am fond of that scent. Um, so I wanted to try out the Brazilian orange one. And I really like the consistency of these scrubs. Um, it's a more fine exfoliant. I like that. So this is the color of the actual scrub. And these are sea salt body scrubs versus the um, sugar ones like the lavender vanilla and the eucalyptus spearmint. So just be mindful using the salt scrub. If you have any like open wounds or scratches, um, it can irritate that. So <laughs> that's why salt is, not, is usually not the most popular when it comes to um, 
body scrub exfoliants. Um, sugar is just a bit more gentle. But I do enjoy this scrub a whole lot. It gets the job done. And I'm pretty sure the scent is just amazing. So um, orange scented products don't bother me. And I love the smell of guava. So I figured I couldn't go wrong here. So the price for these, which I did pick up during semi-annual. I actually redeemed these for freebies. These were a free reward, so yay. <laughs> um, I picked up two of these, and these scrubs go for $16.50 each. And that's everything for that box. It looks like we have some lotions and wallflowers and I wanted to pick up some additional wallflowers and the berry waffle cone. I think all of these are the berry waffle cone scent. Yeah. So I really did enjoy this um, scent in the three wick candle. So I wanted to try it out in the wallflower. So I got the wallflowers for $3.50 each um, when we had a sale like a oh, a little bit over a week ago possibly <laughs> before they went down to three bucks um so yeah i got six of the berry waffle cone and i do want to show you the actual scent notes here summer berries waffle cone creamy vanilla so yeah this one is a really nice one um definitely when you're burning the candle it smells like a waffle cone shop <laughs> and you get like a slight um berry note it's not like a bright berry it's more like a warm baked berry pie um scent so i like that so i picked up six of the berry waffle cone wallflowers and i like the color of the actual liquid too. It's pretty. And I also decided to pick up fresh, oops, fresh coconut colada in the body lotion. And here are the notes. Coconut milk, vanilla rum, pink hibiscus. Oh, this scent smells so, so good. I love coconut. So um, I didn't have this in the actual body lotion i have it in the body cream so i wanted to get a couple of uh, the lotions um, in this formula so really excited about that i love that scent so much you get the rum and that coconut it's a really great blend so it smells like a literally like a coconut colada and those were 4.95 each so that's everything for that box. <laughs> We're making progress. Okay, and these are one with candles. And I decided to pick up the scent in the stars um i have it in a gift form in the body care and um, i really do like the scent so i wanted to try it in their one wicks i didn't know that they actually had this scent in the one wick so i was online one day and i saw that these were available so i decided to pick them up and these were six dollars each i believe the one wicks are still six dollars online so just um be on the lookout for in the stars if you do enjoy the scent in the body care you may enjoy it just as much in the candle form and the packaging is so gorgeous as you can see and they actually don't have the scent notes on the one wick so i can't share that with you <laughs> But um, you can definitely find the scent notes on their website um, because the body care they do carry year round. So 
Um, it's more of a perfumey scent, in my opinion. It's very pretty. It's quite unique. So it's one of those you either love it or hate it type scents. Um, it is a floral one, but not like a springtime floral. <laughs> so I picked up three of the six dollar uh, one way. So I'm really hoping that I like that scent and that it's not like just too strong because of the, the perfumey ones can be a bit strong, but um, I have high hopes for that one. And that's everything for that box. purchased um, during semi-annual sale as well so I decided to pick up another rose water and ivy and this one has really grown on me a lot um, I don't know am I missing a top yeah it looks like they shipped me this without a top which is really strange there is no top in this box um, but this is really such a gentle, pretty scent, in my opinion. You have the soft rose petals, rain-kissed ivy, creamy sandalwood. And I really do enjoy their ivy um, notes. Um, it's really like coral or like a green type note. And the rose water is nice and it's just softly scented. And I do get the sandalwood dry down, which is just really nice in my opinion. So this one I recommend if you're a rose lover and you like um, a bit of sandalwood, this one is a really nice blend. So besides me not getting my top, <laughs> um, and I also picked up the matching body lotion to go with that. And this packaging is really gorgeous. As you can see, you have like the faceted, um, textured bottle here. Really pretty. I also decided to pick up the aromatherapy. This is in the Relax Hawaiian Sandalwood. This is the sea salt scrub. And I have used this in the past. And I was kicking myself in the butt like last year because I only picked up one last SAS. And... Finally, they came back, so I was really happy to see these online, so I decided to pick up a couple. I picked up three, and um, like I mentioned, these are salt scrubs, so they're not going to be as gentle as the sugar scrubs, and they may irritate if you have some scratches or open wounds, so just be mindful of that. However, it's really excellent at getting in there and removing dead skin and making your skin soft, so... And it does relax you. This scent is breathtaking. So I highly recommend Relax if you come across um, any of the Relax or Revive aromatherapy products. They're scrubs. You guys know I'm going to pick up the scrubs every time. So I really do enjoy these. And um, these are $16.50 each. So yeah, I picked up three of the salt scrubs. more candles so you guys this is the highly awaited box I've been waiting for and I was so excited I'm super excited to share this with you all as well be tight there we go so this is one of my absolute favorite candles that they released this holiday and this is the my favorite vanilla bean marshmallow <laughs> so i was super excited when i popped online one day and i saw that they had these available and they were on sale so i 
definitely had to take advantage of the vanilla bean marshmallow candles while they were available because I love this one just as much as I love palm limb right there. So, um, this is a beautiful scented candle in my opinion. I love the design that they did for this year. And it's just, it's everything. Take a look at that. Vanilla bean marshmallow. So comment down below if you guys were able to uh, snag this one up. It was available for a short time. Um, I'm not sure, like, because I haven't seen it back online. I mean, I had, I was checking periodically to see if it was ever available. And it was just really strange that one day I just happened to be online and I saw this available and um, I was like, you know, well, this is going to probably sell out like in minutes, but actually it did not. So here are the scent notes, a comforting vanilla fragrance that evokes the sweetness of a homemade marshmallow with essential oils. Oh, it's so good guys. And the wax is really pretty. And this is a, like a really heavy scented vanilla you get the marshmallow oh, it's like a creamy it almost the marshmallow almost has like a cocoa scent to it it smells amazing so this has become one of my favorite vanilla uh, scented candles for the holidays um nice vanilla gourmand and you get the gooeyness of the marshmallow it is amazing so i decided to pick up six of the vanilla bean marshmallow because they are not available that often and it's one of those that I feel like anytime I'm in a mood that I want to smell something sweet <laughs> I can just light up my vanilla bean marshmallow and it will always um, give me a sweet tooth so. And that's another vanilla bean marshmallow. And here's another vanilla bean marshmallow. So yeah, guys, comment down below if you caught the restock of vanilla bean marshmallow. If you did, lucky you. And you picked an excellent candle in my opinion. So looks like we have more candles here. And it's just three candles. And let's see what these candles are. And these candles, all the candles that I've shown today are just backups for my collection. And this is also another favorite of mine. The Lavender Sea Three Wick. Absolutely gorgeous. Like, that packaging is gorgeous. Um... The notes are soft lavender waves, vanilla sea foam, coconut water. So this is definitely a nice, gentle, coastal lavender scent. Mm, it smells so airy. It's not like a, a sleepy time vanilla. It's more of a coastal, airy. It has like an aquatic note to it. It's very nice. It's a gentle lavender scented candle i love that the top is gorgeous as you can see there so I, i'm glad that i also decided to grab this scent in the one wick as well because um i really want to keep these candles as part of, of my collection just because take a look at the design it's absolutely gorgeous so very fond of lavender sea and i have not had any issues with the performance on that so i picked up three of the lavender sea scent so that's one there and this one should be the exact same yeah it's the exact same so yeah guys that's everything for my unboxing i really hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, hopefully it didn't take too long but um i really do love unboxing bath and body works products with you all um comment down below what have you been um 
setting your eyes on for as we approach the end of semi-annual sale I believe let me know if you're pretty much done with SAS or are you still looking to pick up some of your favorites to add to your collection I would want to know so be sure to turn on your notification bell so you're notified every time I upload and also be sure to subscribe and I will see you in my next video bye